Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much, have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayman's RV Center. Here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Jayco Seismic 4212 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. You guys have picked a beautiful unit. I'm here to show you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by arriving. Our hitch man's gonna show you how to unhook the hitch. One thing I want you to take into consideration a couple things where your slides are going to be. You want to make sure that when you park, you're accessible where your slides won't touch anything. And also take note of where your water and electricity hookups are. This will be on your driver's side toward the front will be your water. And all the way at the rear on your driver's side or off camp side will be your power connection. So park accordingly. Take into consideration your slides. Once you're parked, you're going to come over here to your control panel. Turn your equalizing system on. It'll show you how to raise the front to get it off your hitch. But once you're all set, you got your slides deployed, go ahead and hit auto level. It's going to do its little dance and level itself out nice and level for you. And then when you're leaving, you just hit all extract after you hook back up to your hitch. So he'll walk you through that. After you have our unit level, next thing we're gonna do is hook up our water and electricity. Water hookups are all explained here. The city water, dry camp, power tank fill, sanitize, and winterize. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set these handles here to the diagram. Let's start by hooking up to city water. We're gonna want our white down our green to the left, our red straight up, and our blue to the left. So we're matching city water connect. First thing you're gonna do, water pressure regulator. You're gonna hook, the, hook this water pressure regulator up to your hose every time you put water into the unit. It's gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSIs, protecting your lines inside the unit. You don't know what the water pressure is at the campsite, and you wanna make sure that you have your water lines protected. Hook up your city water before turning your hose on. You can go just to the right of your control panel, docking station, to your hot water heater. First thing you're going to do is make sure that your drain plug is in. You may have left it out from the last time you were camping, draining your hot water heater, so put that plug in. Instructions for that, should you forget, are right here. Turn on our city water. Once the water's been going for a while, come back over to your hot water heater and pull on this, pre this uh, water pressure release valve. It's going to release air, and then when water comes running out of here steadily, you know that your hot water heater is full and can be lit up from indoors. We've got our water hooked up. Now let's go hook up our s power. At the rear of your unit, here's your Furion plug. These are the twist and locks. You have this ring here. This will untwist, twist back on, twist to your right, and then tighten your ring down. You have 50 amp service here, so you will have a dog bone in your convenience back that'll reduce your amperage from 50 to 30 amps. And should you ever need to plug into 110, in your convenience pack is a 
30 to 110 amperage reducer. Just remember when running off 110 you're only going to want to run one AC unit. Got our power hooked up, our water hooked up. Let's say you're going to go dry camping. You need to hook up to potable water. Now you're going to have a city water connect. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our instructions here for dry camping. Set our hoses accordingly. And in the same spot with your water pressure regulator, fill your potable water. Now when using your potable water, that's when you're going to want to turn on your water pump. The only time you turn on your water pump is when you're using potable water. Don't use it when hooked up to city water. Also while I'm in here, we'll tell you you have your cable, satellite cable and auxiliary hookups. So if you rise the system off, you do have a light in here. Should be docking at night. Here's a solar on the side. Should you decide to hook solar up, you can hook it up there. It's a black tank flush that we'll talk about later when dumping our black tanks. To the right of that is going to be your furnace release, heat release, that will get rather warm, so steer clear of it. Your hot water heater. Under your first slide here, you have a low point drain for emptying your water when leaving the campsite. And you also have your sewage hook up here. around the unit. You slide, you do have access to the back of your fridge. The other gray and black holding tank. And release valves. Your extra bathroom in the garage. Here's where you fuel up. Inside here will be your pump station. Left of that, or to the right of that, is a panel for hooking up a SantaCon system. Your power, your ladder for accessing your roof, outdoor light, LED, and back here on your garage is pre wired for a backup system. You purchase those from our store, and a device will hook up to your dash and electronically communicate with this for a backup system. And you have your outdoor grill. I'm going to show real quick how to set this up. I'm going to pull this cotter pin. I'm going to open this up. Take your door down. You do have a light in here. And you're going to pull this handle. When you do, that's going to release the entire grill. Swing it all the way around. Put your cotter pit back in. On the back here, you pull this plug out and plug into your fridge right here on the 110 outside. Coming up front here, pull your grill out. Take this handle and flip it back. That's going to hold your grill in place. And underneath here, you do have your big cord to connect the side of the grill here. Through this hole to your quick connect LPs. Right there. Excuse me, this hole here is your manual override for your slides. Hand crank and storage arm for that. You quick connect LP right there. Alright, let's finish on the outside. Your cable and TV antenna hookup is right there above your 110. This is an air vent for airing out your garage. You can open it from indoors. Left turn the grill. A little windy out here. I'm sorry about the audio. On the side here, you do have a black tank flush, which we'll talk about when leaving the campsite. Your big patio, which I'll bring down for you. Another 
low point drain over here. And your big storage area. Now this water bottle here you can fill before taking off and that's going to come up to a water dispenser on your island. You also have a central back system. Simply Put your hose here, turn on your back. Another 110 out here. Propane. Front here you have 55 100 Cummins owning generator, which you like to start from indoors. There's all your hydraulics for your leveling system. And your batteries. And your battery disconnect, which we'll discuss later when talking about your carbon monoxide detector and how important that can be. And back over to your control panel. This is the hose to hook up to your outdoor shower. Well, covers everything on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to set up your patio here. You'll have a key for these locks here and then you'll release them. This is spring adjusted so it'll come down easily. Grab a handle, pull it towards you. Snap your front. Lift. I want you to see how this side hooks in here. So lift this around. And this ball will go right into the end here. It snaps in. And there you have your deck. here you do have your Furion television speakers and down below a mini fridge and to show you how to release these now pop that away from there turn this up and over Now what you do is lift and tilt. Same thing when you do the other side. Just gonna hook that. You see you lift and tilt. And again with the front. Tilt it in. And your patio is all closed up. Again, reverse the process from the outside. The first thing you want to notice as you enter your unit, to the left as you enter, is your fire extinguisher. Always know that your fire extinguisher is by your front door. To the right as you come in, up your steps, you do have a motion sensor step light. This is an access panel to your fuse box and breaker box. Looks like you have 15s, 20 in there. I highly recommend keeping them on hand. You can pick, pick some fuses up in our store as well. Up above there is your max air vent. Down at the other end by your bunk, that is where your max air vent is. From here, you will open the vent or close, turn the fan on or off. 
to the right of that, you'll see a few of these throughout the unit. They're actually little thermostats that'll help keep uh, read the temperature in each different room. Coming to your living room now, above your fireplace and television. In this panel is going to be your control panel. Now if this is dark, simply touch it and everything will light up. Control your lights from here. Touch this button, and this is going to run you through several things. Let's start with off. Going to the right, you can pair this and run everything from a smart device. Awning 1, Awning 2, Slide 1, and 2. So what you do is you go to Awning 1, you hit Extend. Now remember when extending your awnings, you're just going to extend them out until your flap falls down to 90 degrees. Then you know your awning is out far enough. Same thing with your slides. Slides 1 and 2, hit Extend or Retract. Now up here in the control panel, you have a home button. You can go to climate, lights, motors, tanks, power. Let's start with your tanks. Here you can see all the levels. Gas water heater and your tank heater. And that's where you turn your water pump on. You can control your leveling from here. Your heat and air. Set the temperature here. All of your lighting, scroll through this. Your tire pressure, you can read that from here. And your tanks. Here's where you start your generator and stop your generator. Let's go back here to climate. So when you are hooked up to electricity, you turn your water heater on here. If you're hooked up to gas, you turn on your water heater here. And this is your water pump that you use only when using potable water. Here's where you'll turn on your fuel station. And there's your solar readout. Below that, your IRV's technology sound system. Turn that on. You can play your music in three different zones, indoors, outdoors, or both. Below that, USBs, auxiliary in. You also have your big Furion stereo system. Television. Here's your fireplace. Now fireplace nowadays aren't just for looks. You can go through and get different looks on it. But the biggest impact this fireplace will have is if you're camping somewhere and it's getting a little chilly, instead of turning on your gas, go ahead and crank this up, turn the heat up, and this will Use their electricity instead of your gas and it'll get it warm in here quickly. Run around and up in the ceiling. I want to show you, you do have your return vents, LED lighting, a smoke alarm. Show you real quickly how to set these tables up. Get two of them stored underneath the top bunk in the back. Definitely lift this table off. And the legs removed. Set the legs in the holes. Find the bottom holes of the table up, and your table set up. Now you do have parachute pole recliners, recliners here. Reach in the side, pull your parachute pole. You've got recliners on both ends. You do have a light, massage, and heat for your theater seating. Coming over to your kitchen area. The bottle in the storage that I showed you about earlier that you can fill with fresh water to go camping. This is where that'll come out at. You do have this USB 110 port that'll store away. Come to your stove here. You do have a panel light. This glass piece makes it excellent backsplash. Turn your unit to light. When your gas is on, you'll get a fire. Above that, your self-explanatory microwave convection combination. 
All throughout the unit, you'll see these little things. There's one here. There's one at the end of the sofa there. Now on the floor next to your stove is your 12 volt carbon oxide detector. The reason I mentioned it's 12 volt is because it's constantly running off your battery. So if you're going to be gone for the day, use your battery disconnect. Disconnect your battery to keep this from running it down. Coming over to your fridge here. Turn on your power. This will set your levels 1 through 9. 9 being coldest. So if you can see the panel here, there we go. So right now it is hooked up to auto. You'll see a plug and gas. That means that when you're plugged in, it'll run off electricity. As soon as you unplug, it'll run off gas. Or you can simply switch it to gas. Auto, electric, gas. Hold that, shut it off. All right, let's take a look down here on the floor. You have your central vac system. You just lift that up and it'll start vacuuming. Washing your unit, that's the noise we hear outside. Just come in your bathroom. I'm not sure if you knew or not, but this seat will fold up against the wall. Do you want to mention in the bathroom you do have a 110 with GFI protection here? Lights and accent lights. Light and fan. Coming into your bedroom. I do you want to show you? On the size on the side of your unit here. On the side of your bedroom. You have your charging station. A couple USB ports and a 12. A highlight accent light here. And then this handle to pull on. Pull down on the handle and your TV pops up. Put your TV away. Simply press down from the top. You'll hear a click and it's in. Get your separate AC in here. Your Wi-Fi boost. There's where you turn it on at. There's the other grill. After you spin the other one around, you've got that lip on the outside. That metal bracket will set on the lip. There's your other grill for out there. So you got two outdoor grills. We'll mention this is prepped for a washer and dryer back here in your bedroom closet. That covers everything up here. Again. One of these lighting switches here. One of the lighting switches over there next to the bed. They have them all throughout the unit. I'm gonna step back to the garage right now. So you do have your top and bottom bunks that raise and lower. And your seats to fold in. Back patio will fold down the same way. But you do have a sliding door. I have a 110 here. You have your extra half bath back here. And your control panels for bringing a bed up and down. Your awning and your bed up and down. Start it in here. Let's go outside and empty our tanks. Now, as we're leaving the campsite, a couple of things we're going to drain. We're going to come to our hot water heater. Again, burp this, release any air pressure and then pull your hot water drain. Come down here, put your sewage, open this fresh water drain. And then we're gonna come over and grab our sewage hose. Now you do have two dump stations on this one. 
First one, just under your front slide. Look at your sewage hose. Put it in there. Plug it in to the dump station. Come up here and pour your black tank. Pour your black. Let that run for a while. And then you're going to come up here and use this black tank flush. Again, hook up your water pressure regulator. Plug in. Leave your black tank open. Run this full of water for about five minutes. Now after that's ran for about five minutes, shut your water off. Close your black. And then grab and pull and open up your gray tank. Your gray tank's going to be your cleaner waters. It's going to be your sinks and showers and that's going to clean out your sewage hose. And then we're going to go to the back of the unit. At the back of the unit is your other sewage for your back shower and bathroom. So, got our sewage hose. We hook it up here to the rear. To the left there, pull your black tank. Now this time you're going to go all the way around to the other side of the unit with your water hose and your water pressure regulator because your black tank flush for this bathroom is right by that tank. Again, with that black handle open, flush your black tanks about five minutes, close it up, shut your water off, come back over, close your black tank, and then pull your gray handle. Again, your gray handle is going to clean out your sewage hose. It's going to be a cleaner water. And then sanitarily store your sewage hose. So it covers everything on the outside. Hope you guys enjoy this trailer for many years to come. I'd like to say here, thank you for choosing Trade Winds. And happy camping.